We have a very special guest, though, all the way from Ireland. This is a global show. We are all over the place here. We're going to dial in now to Cork, Ireland for Gavin Dunn. You may also know him as the Miracle of Sound. Gavin, how you doing, man? Gavin, make sure you unmute. Sorry, bud. Oh, yeah, sorry. There you go. <laughs> yeah, speaking, speaking of sleep deprived. <laughs> yeah, it's what, like 5.30 in the morning there? Yeah, and somebody play, Somebody stayed up uh, far too late playing Mass Effect 3 last night, so... <laughs> uh, well, you know, but you did get an advanced copy, so that actually answers one of my questions. Without yes. spoilers, no spoilers in this show. What do you think of the game so yeah. far? Okay, well, <clears throat> anyone who knows me knows how much I love Mass Effect 2, and it was one of my top two games of all time, and I'm 10 hours into Mass Effect 3 now, and so far it's just blown it out of the water. Better in every way. It's amazing. I'm so, so impressed with what you guys did, so... Nice. And I, I have to admit, I was, I was even getting skeptical for a while about things. And anyone who's skeptical about this game, just put it aside, man. The game is incredible. Phenomenal. So I, I can't say too much. Like, like you said, I don't want to give away spoilers. But once the game picks up its pace and gets into the real swing of the story, that's all I'll say. You will be blown away. So. Well, that's <clears> quite an endorsement. So I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, let's talk a little bit about you, though. It's been a while since we spoke last. I think it was Gamescom, it where we actually had you live uh, right, right, now, right yeah. here, Gavin. Look, look right what here. I still have. <laughs> nice. My, now, my um, N7 mug. <laughs> I see that. You know, those, those were key. Those got me through some tough times there in, in Germany and the nonstop uh, filming. But, um, you know, you premiered the Normandy song at Gamescom. What have you been, what, yeah. what's, what's been going on for you since? Um, basically kind of the same, the same as I've been doing, making my video game songs. I'm finally making a living off it now, and that was largely thanks to you guys plugging me. Um, so thank you for that. <laughs> oh, that's the least we could do. Your work is incredible, Gavin. Yeah. And then, you know what? I have to be honest with the viewers. So prior to this day, mm -hmm. this launch event, I actually reached out to you about the possibility of yes. creating a special song that we could premiere yeah. here at the launch event. Now, yeah. walk us through kind of the creative process of what happened between me sending you that note and what will premiere in a little bit for the fans. Okay, well, basically, uh, Dave contacted me and just said, was I going to do a song for the launch? Uh, and I said I hadn't been planning on it because uh, usually I'll play a game first and kind of get a feel for the story before I do a song. But um, you guys sent me some trailers and just some, some kind of spoiler-free info and Dave gave me the kind of theme of the song which should be taking Earth back from the Reefers so it was pretty simple to write in the end actually it kind of flowed pretty naturally except for the chorus that was very very difficult to, to write that especially in such short notice because a cho the chorus of a song is by far the most important part and I went through about 20 different choruses in that song before I found the right one so. Well, not to give anything away, but I will say that that chorus is so catchy. I, I got to say, it's one of, I think it's one yeah. of the best songs, if not the best song I, I think you've done. But we'll get to that in a second. Now, one thing that I found fascinating is that you actually, you're a one-man band, right? Like, how do you actually record yeah. all of it yourself? How is that even possible? What do you, like, clone <coughs> yourself? How do you do it? Um, I do it all on my computer, man. It's, it's pretty simple. I, I have a program called Cubase, uh, which has... A number of different audio channels. I would suppose it would be quite similar to mixing sound for a game. And I record everything separately, the guitars, the bass, the keyboards, the strings and stuff. And then I record all the vocals separately. Uh, and I program the drums. The drums are the only things that I cheat with. Because people often wonder, is, is my music with samples or did I use it from some other place? But no, it's all completely original. I play it all myself. So. Um, and then the program plays everything back together at once, and you just mix it then. So it's, it's fun. I like it. <laughs> now, have you ever considered um, finding other musicians and performing live? You know, in Ireland, I hear there's a pretty popular band there. You know, um, I performed live in bands for years and years before I did the Miracle of Sound project, and it never got me anywhere. So <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. The now that Miracle of Sound is taking off, we'll see, man. I'm, I'm going to Comic-Con San Diego this year, hopefully. Hey! We yeah, need to talk. so we'll see you guys there. Awesome. So I might, I, might, I might do a short little solo set there or something if we can arrange it. We'll see. We're going to have to have your people talk to my people, and uh, we need to yeah. arrange that. I think people need to see a live performance of some of these songs. That would be very cool. Now, how did you first I'm, start... I'm going to hold oh, you sorry. to that. 
<laughs> yeah, hey, I'm all in. Let's let's do it. We got our guys. They know how to do this stuff. Neil and team, they're yeah. they're magical. Um, how do how did you first get started writing songs for video games? Well, um, it basically happened because, as I, you know, I was just saying I was in bands for years and it wasn't going anywhere. Um, I got signed to a record label with my old band and it all kind of fell through just when it was about to break. It was the old cliche of the band who nearly made it and I was pretty just feeling a little down and a little pissed off. So I decided one day to make a fun little song about Gordon Freeman to cheer myself up and it just exploded on the internet and Miracle of Sound was born. And then of course I wrote the Commander Shepard song which just completely exploded for me and went viral and that was, that was awesome. That was the song that changed everything and made me realize there's a living to be made from this. So. Nice. Well, you'll never be better yeah. than Commander Shepard, so there you go. <laughs> All right, Gavin, well, we, we're going to... Accord, according to you, the, the new song is better than Commander Shepard. So. <laughs> I, you know, I think it is. And I, I think it may actually even be better than th uh, Age of the Dragon, too. Wow. I know. <laughs> that was my, my personal <laughs> favorite. But I yeah. gotta say, this one, this one is uh, more catchy. So there you go. Now um, cool. we're, let's let's uh, let's before we uh, cut to the clip of you, uh, yeah. your latest creation, which is known as "Take yes. Earth Back." What uh, what yeah. do you want to or take back? Take Earth Back. That's right. So uh, what do you, you want to introduce yeah. it? Why don't you introduce the song to us all? Okay. Well, this song, uh, "Take It Back." is basically all about the people on earth and trying to keep some hope in the face of despair knowing hoping hoping against hope that shepherd is going to come back and save them all with uh, uh, I, I don't want to go into too many spoilers but you know that's the general idea um it's it's hope that's that's the team behind the song hope in the face of hopelessness all right, there you go. Gavin Dunn, thank you so much for staying up and uh, really appreciate me. you making this song. And uh, we'll definitely need to talk thank about Comic-Con. Thank you guys for the awesome game. It's, it's amazing. It really is incredible. So Our pleasure. Well, I thank you. Happy. So without further ado, we give you guys Take It Back from the Miracle of Sound. Walking by. 